yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude, back with another fragrance video. Thanks for joining me, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications. Always helps out my channel. So in this video, I wanted to take it in a bit of a different direction and tell you about me as a fragrance reviewer, how I learned how to uh, differentiate different fragrance notes in different fragrances. And I'll give you a little history lesson about me, my channel, how I learned all that information. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. In 2019, my daughter and I, she was about seven at this point in time, um, we were focusing mainly on our TikTok and YouTube Pokemon. I was, she loved Pokemon, so we were reviewing Pokemon. And so I would do all that. We had 65,000 followers on TikTok and 10,000 followers on YouTube. I didn't care about monetization at all. At all. I just wanted to do something fun with my daughter. <clears throat> she grew out of that over the year and a half that we were doing them. And so I came to a crossroads. Do I want to continue doing this and possibly get monetization, which I, again, I didn't really care about, or do I just want to stop it? I had a real interest in collecting fragrances. I just, at that point in time, to me, notes were just muddled. I didn't care about fragrance notes. It was either I liked a fragrance or I didn't. And if I liked it, I bought it and I had a collection of it. I like to collect. And so that was me. Um, and so the one thing that made me turn a point, turn a corner was in mid 2019, I was watching one of the fragrance reviewers. Again, I didn't watch them very often, but I was watching one of the fragrance reviewers who is still active today. I won't name a name. And <clears throat> I commented, hey, what are a couple cheapies that you could mention that would last long, they're under $50 and they smell great. They gave me Yop Ohm and Azaro Decibel. And I didn't know any, anything about either of them. I knew Yop Ohm existed because it's always existed, but I never smelled it before. So I bought them, they weren't expensive. I bought it from Perfumania, I think at that point in time, because I didn't know much about FragranceNet. Um, so I bought it off Perfume Mania, I got them in, and if you watch any of my previous videos, I think that Yop Ohm smells like dog shit. Um, and honestly, dog shit smells better, and a Zara Decibel was nothing better. I ended up actually throwing that down a hillside. Uh, but yeah, I commented back to him and said, why did you recommend these? And about two weeks later, he posted a video saying about his worst fragrance is Yop Ohm. And I'm thinking to myself, are you kidding? So he had about 30,000 subscribers and I'm thinking to myself, are you getting paid to do this? Are you um, just doing it because you didn't care what my question was? And so I'm like, what about all the other people out there? I never really commented on things. So what about the other people that comment that you're giving bad advice to? And so I, I started seeing a lot of misses from other videos, other reviewers, where they were giving false information about fragrances I owned. And I knew, again, very little, sorry, I knew very little about fragrances back then, but there were certain things that I knew and could pick out that those fragrances, fragrance reviewers were like saying that, for instance, let's say they said, chrome is a perfect fragrance for the winter. And it, that that's the type of thing I was like, what? At that point in time, when he didn't get back to me and I knew that was just something was up with it, I said, I want somebody out there to give me honest fragrance reactions, reviews, because I'm going to start buying them based on their reviews. And my wife, and I said, because a lot of the ones that I have are the ones that you can buy in store, but you can't buy anywhere else. And you're going to be blind buying a lot of these. My wife said, why don't you start a review? I said, but I don't know anything about notes. She goes, well, then figure it out. So you can thank her. She actually told me to just go figure it out. And so I did. So what I did was I started by trial and error. Um, what I would do is I would take, I think the first one I ever tried was uh, Bergamotto de Calabria by Aqua de Parma. Um, there was a fragrance that I had. I don't remember the fragrance. It had Bergamot as a note in it listed on Fragranica. And so I know Bergamotto de Calabria, the main note is Bergamot. And so I would smell that then try to pick out the bergamot from this one. Smell this, try to pick out the bergamot for this one. It was helping a little bit, but not enough to create a fragrance review channel. So I started going to uh, this place called Fragrance Outlet and a place called Fragrance Emporium or Perfume Emporium near me. 
Uh, they were both different places that had niche and designer fragrances all around in the stores with the notes listed below and even little sample sniffers of when you can smell bergamot. Can you pick this out? And so I would do that once a week. I would go and I'd stay there for an hour and I'd smell and I'd smell and I'd smell. Again, trial and error and picking those out is great, but it doesn't help because there's different extraction percentages. There's synthetics versus fresh. Then I found there was an art school in Pittsburgh, that, which is near me. I didn't go to this art school as a college or anything, but they had a special program. It was a three-day um, fragrance learn a knowledge course. And so day one was like perfume 101. Day two was the history of perfumery. And day three, I believe was uh, perfumery or fragrance terminology. And so I went and I did it. It was like a hundred bucks and I took it, learned a lot of information, but it's still, and it, they did bring some samples of notes, but not much that I was able to pull from it other than the terminology. That was a real big help. Um, so I started trying to find these other places that I heard from a lady in Sephora. She said they were kind of like perfume apothecaries or uh, what was the other thing? Botanical shops. Um, and then also I found that a good place is candle making places because all three of these type of places, especially the fragrance apothecaries, you go in and they have a bunch of different samples of notes. Um, there's one apothecary that is about an hour away from me that you go in, they have all the different oils, about 200 of them. And then they have these little bowls full of like vetiver and I would go every day. I would take notes. I obviously didn't need to smell the tobaccos, the vanillas, the cherries. I know what that smells like. And at this point in time, I'm able to pick out a lot more notes because of that trial and error. So I went to these places. So if you have any place that has like essential oils, um, candle making, soap making, stuff like that, a lot of them use the same type of oils or same named oils. So you can figure it out from there. Um, there's a place in Philadelphia that I found called Set and Sip. You can make your own perfume there, but not only that, they had 500 different fragrance oils that I could smell. So I was there, I did that for three days. There was a place in Florida where they had samples of oud wood where I could smell and sandalwood and um, juniper berries and stuff like that that you can sample. Um, so there's online sites and the online sites that I wrote down here are Aroma Sanctum and Eden Botanicals. Um, I had one that I used before. I don't remember the name and I was trying to search it all day today and I couldn't find it. Uh, they send you one milliliter or two milliliter samples of single fragrance notes, as well as some of them also send you little packages of um, the actual notes themselves. So let's say it's sandalwood, they would send you, or uh, Akigala wood or something like that. They would send you little pieces of that so that you could actually smell the real thing and compare it to different fragrances. Especially if you have a niche fragrance, you would need to have those fresh ingredients, not synthetic oils. Uh, so that's how I learned. Um, again, to this day, I will still tell you in a video, like the other day, Calypsone. Uh, that was in my Eternity Summer Days video. I didn't know what a Calypsone smelled like. I had to go based on what I found online um, because it's, a, it's not a naturally occurring thing. You just need to put in the time and the effort. And so I waited almost an entire year. I knew I was going to start a channel about last February. Um, and then I started my channel this February. Uh, so it took me about a year. I wanted to get all the information I could. And still to this day, there are still fragrance notes I don't understand. I, I, don't, I can't smell them. I, if I smell a certain wood, I don't know what that wood is. Like I know what sandalwood, amberwood, I know what those smell like. But something like <clears throat> uh, Gayak wood. I have never been able to get my nose on it, so I just have to say woods, because I do smell woods, but it, I, I guess I would have to go with Gayak wood on that one. Um, so yeah, I really hope this helps, and I know I've been blabbering for, what, 12 minutes and 40 seconds, but if you're looking to get into reviewing like me, it's the best way to go about it, so that you're not lying to people. I, I don't want to lie. I just want to tell the truth. I want to be honest, and I want to give you guys the best information so you can purchase for yourself. And so I know I have actually in some of my videos 
been talking down to fragrances where I want to be talking to somebody as if you only had two bottles and you don't know much about fragrances. I kind of get excited and I'm sorry about that, but I end up throwing it in at the end of the video. If you are new um, to fragrances, you might like this, but I need to start remembering who I'm talking to. So thank you guys very much. I really hope this is helpful. Let me know in the below if this was, if it something that you want to hear more about, um, I can do more conversations like this. But thank you guys very much. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with another one.